Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing my November wrap up, which is really not that impressive. I've just been so busy, which is also why I haven't been making videos recently, but I really think the busyness is going to be dying down here. Definitely by the end of this month, hopefully I'll be able to get back into things as this month goes on, even though it is the Christmas season. But yes, let me just tell you what I did end up reading in the month of November. I did only read three books and I didn't really like any of them, which also may have played a factor in me not reading as much. The first book that I read in November, which feels like ages ago, was Alex Approximately by Jen Bennett. And I'd really been looking forward to reading this one. I had it in the Contemporaries I Want to Read video that I did. And it kind of had the same feel as You've Got Mail or so I was led to believe. In execution, I didn't think this book really did a good job. I just kind of felt okay with the story. It wasn't something that I really loved by any means. I don't even know if I would really recommend it just because it wasn't exactly the story for me. This book takes place in California and it's just like I've said a you've got mail kind of situation where this girl met this guy online and then she moves to California and her new co-worker slash boss, supervisor, whatever, is the guy she's been talking to, but she doesn't know it's him. And yes, of course, then the book continues. Obviously, they're going to develop a relationship and kind of goes from there. I think this book did take some turns into trying to get depth, but I don't think it was really done really well. It felt like obvious, like this book was trying to have more meaning. So it put these hard situations in the book. So it just didn't feel very real to me. Anyway, I'm gonna stop talking about this book. Next, I read Turtles All the Way Down by John Green. I'm not gonna really discuss the synopsis of this because you probably know what it's about. Basically, it's about a girl with OCD. And now this is the best way I've thought to describe my feelings, which I gave this book it's somewhere around like three stars, like a low three star rating. But I really liked our main character. I thought she was written very well. I think her character was really great. I really liked her character. My problem was the plot and the rest of the story. I didn't feel like it made any sense. It didn't really flow at all. And I just feel really sad that we had this really well developed thought through character. And then she was in the story that I just couldn't really get behind and the story that I just didn't have any interest. Honestly, I'm gonna just say it, I kind of found that this book was boring and that's just really sad because I was looking so, so forward to this book and it just was such a letdown for me. I really think if it had a different plot, I would have loved it. Like keep the characters, but just do something different with them. It's kind of all that I wanted out of this book, but because it was just so boring and just weird and random to me, I wasn't able to really enjoy it all too much. The final book that I read, I actually finished, I think like December 1st, but I'm including it in my November wrap up because my November wrap up is so short. I read The Secret Place by Tana French and I read this with my Murder Squad book club. This is the fifth book in her series and another three star read. Like November was just mediocre in terms of books, but the actual month of November was really great for me. This book, I just, uh, I was okay with it. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't something I, first of all, I did listen to it on audiobook and I wasn't able to increase the speed because I'm an idiot. And when I put it on my phone, I didn't know to put it on my phone as an audiobook because I actually got the CDs from the library and I didn't use overdrive. So I couldn't speed up the reading, which made it just kind of drag for me, first of all, because I like to listen to like 1.25 slash 1.5 speed and it keeps me a little more engaged with the story. But I just felt like this book really, really dragged on. It's about the character of Holly, who is, if you've read any of these books, Mackie's daughter, and she's at boarding school and there's a murder that happens. And this has been a cold case. It's a year later and a new clue surfaces. And so they take up this case again. And it actually, this whole book takes place in one day. And there are flashbacks to the year before this kid was murdered at the boarding school and Holly and her friends and like what their lives were like. So. It did take place in a day, but everything that happened in the book wasn't in that day because there were a lot of flashbacks. Tana French's writing I like, but I found that there's so much extra in her writing and in her books that I really don't need to be in there. Like so much descriptive language. If you love descriptive language, you will love her writing, but I did find it to be a bit overwhelming. And I just like 
there was too much metaphor and personification of random items that I just wasn't the biggest fan of her writing this book, which is just kind of weird because I've enjoyed it. And I don't know if it's because it was an audiobook and I had to sit there and listen to the narrator slowly read the descriptions, which is why I didn't like it, or if I just found I didn't really like her writing too much in this book. The mystery, the murder thing was okay. Those are the books that I read in the month of November. I know, not impressive in the number of books or in the quality of books that I read, but I'm just keeping it real with you. There's nothing really more I can say about any of these books that I read, but please let me know the books that you read in the month of November or if you've read any of the books that I talked about and you have different opinions about them. Thank you for watching and happy reading.